How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how you can do this on your iPhone. Take a listen. That's right. Today I'm going to teach you how you can set any song, music or audio as your notification sound on your iPhone. And this process is 100% free. You don't need to pay for absolutely anything. So you can set, for example, your favorite tunes, your songs, your audio, absolutely any audio file that you wish, as for example, your text tone, your voicemail sound, new mail, sent mail, calendar alerts, reminder alerts, and even, of course, app notifications as well. This process is so, so cool, extremely easy, and I'm gonna show you how you can do it right now. Let's get started. So we're gonna use for this process GarageBand. And this is a very similar process to the one I've done before where I teach you how you can set any song as your actual ringtone. So keep in mind that this is for notification sounds, but if you wanna actually set any song as your ringtone, which is a different process, a different video, I'm gonna leave a card right here and link in the description, okay? This one is for notifications. All right, so. Let's get started and let's tap here on GarageBand. And GarageBand is actually a landscape application as you can see right here. So let me just readjust real quick. And as you open, it's gonna say keyboard, but we don't want that. So slide to the right until we get to audio recorder, tap on it, and then here is where we're gonna work. Don't worry, this looks a little bit scary, but the process is super easy and I'm gonna do it step by step with you, okay? So first thing you're gonna need to do is tap on the little metronome right here, as you can see, which is highlighted in blue, tap on it, it needs to be white, okay? Then tap on the little brick wall icon, which is the third icon left to right, as you can see, and then it's gonna flip and show us a timeline. That's what we want. And then we're gonna actually tap on this little loop icon right here, tap on it, and then we're gonna see files. Maybe on yours, it's actually gonna be on this screen right here. No problem if it is, just tap on files right here. And we're actually gonna select our audio file or music or song or tune uh, or audio, whatever, from the files app. And keep in mind that as I mentioned, you can use any kind of file in any kind of format that you wish because GarageBand will recognize AIFF files, WAV, CIF, Apple Loops, AAC, MP3, and MIDI or MIDI, okay? So you can choose pretty much any file in the world as long as it's an audio file, right? So as I said, we're gonna actually pick that file from our Files app. And the Files app is of course this app right here. So let me exit and as you can see, that's the file, the Files app. Our audio file needs to be here, okay? So if you don't really know how to do this, if you don't really know how to use the Files app or download stuff or whatever, I'm gonna leave another video that I recommend you take a look, card right here, link in the description, so you can go ahead and learn how to use the Files app and download stuff from the internet as well. Because naturally, you're gonna need to get that audio file from somewhere. Maybe you're gonna download it from the web or maybe you're gonna transfer it from other devices that you have no problem, the only thing that you need is that the file is in the Files app, okay? So I'm gonna tap here on Explore Files app, and this is actually the file I'm gonna use as my notification sound. It's actually a song. So I'm gonna tap on it, let it load, and it actually takes a few seconds. And as you can see right here, I can already tap and hold, I'm gonna tap and hold, and then move to my left, okay? So tap and hold, move, and that it's here as you can see. So put it to the top left, that's it. So that's the song, the song is right here. Now, keep in mind that since we're talking about a notification sound, we don't really want it to be like a minute long, right? And it can't be that long. So you actually need to adjust and pick the exact portion that you want that tune to be. And I recommend like two seconds, it can be up to four, okay? So what you're gonna do is actually tap on the song itself, and then slide to the right, okay, right here as you can see, and then pick the other end and do the same thing. So this is actually my sound, my notification sound. And now of course, I need to move it to the beginning of the timeline, okay? So I'm gonna tap on it, tap and hold, and then move to the beginning of the timeline. So perfect. You can test it out and see how it sounds by tapping on the play right here. 
that's it, okay? I know it's not perfect, I know it's not as nice as the one I showed you in the intro, but it takes a little bit of time and fine tuning to pick the exact portion that you want. And since I'm doing everything here with you like live, I don't wanna waste any time, okay? So that's the tune. And then of course, this is very important, tap on the little plus right here on the top right corner. And then you need to change from eight bars to four. So tap on it and then four, okay, and done. Otherwise, it won't be recognized as a ringtone. So this is very, very important, okay? Now, what you're gonna need to do is tap here on the arrow pointing down, my songs, and then we're pretty much done, guys. And as you can see here, it's saying my song three, and I've done this a million times, okay? But it's gonna be the latest one. So then I'm gonna tap and hold on it, and then I'm gonna need to share. So tap on share, ringtone, ringtone, Great, and then you can name your ringtone, and I can easily name, and I'm gonna put YouTube, just so you know, uh, I've created this with you on YouTube, okay? And then tap on export. And then it's exporting as a ringtone, it just takes a few seconds, and I'm not gonna cut anything here in this video, okay? And here, this is super important, you need to actually tap on use sound S, otherwise it won't work, okay? So use sound S, and then standard text tone because if you put it as a ringtone it's going to be a ringtone and it gotta be a text tone okay so the middle option and then we're done so you can exit the app and i'm gonna actually just readjust real quick as you can see right here and then i'm gonna go ahead here open my settings sounds and haptics and then text tone and then here youtube so tap on it once again, and that's it. Now I have my custom text tone, which I can use, of course, for other stuff. For example, for a new voicemail, you scroll down and you can select it right here, or new mail, as you can see right here, uh, calendar alerts or reminders, so absolutely anything here which is iOS based. And also some applications will actually follow this as well. So as you set here, this tone for text tone here, other applications will recognize it and follow this exact same tone. But for some applications, it's a little bit trickier, you have to go into their own settings. So I can't show you for every single app right here, otherwise the video will be like an hour long. But you got the idea, that's how you set any custom music, song, tune, sound, audio message, absolutely anything as your notification sound here on the iPhone. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video as usual guys. Bye bye.